Ukraine to begin ground operations to liberate Crimea. Kirill Budinov, head of the Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, has vowed that individual strikes in Crimea will not be the end of the matter, as there will be a ground operation and the recovery of our territories. He said the operation of Defense Intelligence of Ukraine, supported by the Ukrainian Navy in Crimea, is essential to make people there believe that victory and their liberation are just around the corner. Secretary of the National Security and Defense Council of Ukraine, Oleksiy Danilov, spoke about the details of the operation carried out by the Ukrainian intelligence on the Crimean Peninsula. He said that the most modern weapons were used during the special operation. We carried out a very strong operation. The other party has no opportunity to prevent the execution of the tasks that we have set before us. According to Danilov, the security forces have conducted various special operations before, but it is impossible to give information about all of them. I can only say that the war will not end until all our lands, including Crimea, are liberated. He added that the peninsula would be liberated militarily if necessary. If the other party does not leave our lands as soon as possible, it will be so. Recently, Ukrainian forces have carried out their most complex and ambitious operations to date against Russian military facilities in the occupied region of Crimea, officials in Kyiv have said. Special forces landed on the western shore of Crimea, near the settlements of Olenivka and Mayak, in a joint operation with the country's navy. While performing the task, Ukrainian defenders clashed with the occupiers' units. As a result, the enemy suffered losses among its personnel and destroyed enemy equipment, Ukrainian Defense Intelligence said. While they were there, the Ukrainian unit also raised the national flag. It added 